Hi, this is Sarah, your Socially Awkward Seller, and I'm coming to you with part three of my Columbus Thrift Haul. So, I got a bit here. It sounds breaky. You know how I am with breaky stuff. Um, I picked this up. It says cock a doodle -do, And it is Becky Denny. Um, I paid four bucks for this. I can't remember. I looked it up. It should do pretty well, but I can't really remember the price. Maybe 30 bucks or something. I don't remember. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, I thought it was really cute. And it's one of those egg plates. So, it'll inspire someone to make deviled eggs. And then, perhaps, that someone will invite me to have deviled eggs. I'm not holding my breath. Um... I thought this was cute. Uh, sentence cube game. Basically, it's like Scrabble, sort of, but also like Boggle, sort of. So um, the dice all have words on them. You know, the dice that you cannot see all have words on them. And then I guess you roll at however many and um, try to make a sentence from that. That could be pretty funny. Uh, that would be a great game, actually, for kids learning um, English. Let's see. What do I got here? Um, I bought this lit Littenware. I paid $3.99 for this cute little Littenware. Um, this is like a little casserole with a, a lid, but it's also a divided dish. And this is meant for microwave cooking. I think these came out in like the 80s. Um, and so far, every one that I've ever had, I've sold. So, some of, and some of them bring more than others. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> so, when I bought this, I think I might have bought it for myself. And I thought it said, Hello, Thirsty. But it does not. It says, hello, 30. And I said goodbye to 30 quite a long time ago. So um, it's by Piper Lou, who I don't know. Um, I paid $1.99 for this. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I certainly can't walk around with the tumbler that says hello, 30. Uh, you know, with my um, kind of cougar background. Well, I'm not single anymore. Um, this is another piece of that Littenware cute little bowl. Um, I paid $2.99 for this, so I have $7 in them. Um, I may lock them together. I may not. Who knows? All right, that's that bag. Let's get this other bag. This bag, I think, is mostly linens. Um, and we got it tied up really good tied up really good. Let's just tear that. Okay. Let's just see what we got going on here. Um, this is a hammock. Uh, a really cool print. And it looks like it hasn't been used before. I don't know if it's worth anything. I just thought it was cool and it was um, four fifty for that. You know, if you've watched me for any period of time, you know I just buy some things because they're cool and that's it. That's the only reason. And it's a struggle. That struggle is real. Um, this is a balance. Actually, it goes this way with that cord at the bottom. I paid a dollar for this, and it is Martha Stewart. And I, I don't know if this is the only one or not. I don't remember. Because, as I told you, with my memory, it's like opening something that somebody gave to me. I don't even remember what I bought here. Looks like I've got a couple of these. Uh, I believe these are Waverly. Yes, they are. And I have a couple of these. Um, and most of the, well, I think all of the curtains that I bought were 
there's another, there's a matching valance for that. Um, were valances and not like curtain panels. I picked this up and I don't know why. It feels kind of like wool. It's a little throw with a um, floral pattern on it. And who knows the, my reasoning for picking this up. I don't even see a price on it. But it does have that kind of wool feel to it. Um, it might be a wool blend because it's not quite as scratchy. But I don't know. Oh, there's a price tag. I paid 50 cents for it. And I will do some research on that because like I said, I don't, I don't see any tags on it or anything. So, uh, what's this? Okay, this is a Beaterlock, uh, Beaterlock of America, I think. I paid two fifty for this, and basically, this is um, it's got these snaps, and you can basically turn this throw blanket into like a robe kind of thing. Let me see if I can find a tag to show you. Um, this isn't worth a fortune, but I think if I my memory serves me, it never does. Um, I want to say it was in the neighborhood of like thirty bucks for this. Here we go. There's your tag on this. Throw that up there. Let's see here. I think I still have enough stuff left to make one more video. Um, here's some more of that Martha Stewart, those valances. Try to get these listed today. Uh, before I have to go to the other jab. The J-O-B. Um, these are American Living. But I thought they were really cute, cute kind of cottage core, maybe. They might not, they might be too, like, big of a print for cottage core, but I, I paid a dollar for these. Or for that and then I have three more of them so I got four of those valances a total um, I may lot them in in pairs I may lot them in apples I don't know um, that doesn't make any sense that don't make no sense okay here's the last bag for today um, very, very slow weekend, um, as far as sales go, I didn't work very hard this past week as far as listing and my sales show it. Um, I'm hoping, you know, it's Monday. I've got two to ship. That's all after like 20 last weekend or 15. Um, so I'm going to try and get a few listed every day this week and hopefully that will cause my skin my sales to improve. Um, this is called the five second rule and it is basically somebody calls out, um, you know, a topic from a card and you have to name, for example, three, be three breeds of dogs, but you only have five seconds to do it. And, uh, I don't know. I just thought it looked fun. So that's for me, I suppose. Um, I picked these up. They were 50 cents or a dollar. This has got two price tags on it. And they're these cute little, I don't know if they're dessert forks or cocktail fo fo uh, spoons or what they are. I just thought they were really cool. They are marked on the back. But uh, I'll have to get in some light and maybe a microfine glass so that I can see, but I just, I thought they were cute. So I didn't resist. Uh, this is a brand that I'm not familiar with it's called Overland of Equipment. And um, this is like a cross body bag. 
It's really kind of cool, actually. And uh, I paid $2 for this. And I think this sells for about $35. If I can sell it. If. Uh, I think I bought that for myself. Um, yeah, I bought that for myself. Because my, cro my crossbody bag is looking a little worse for wear. I think I've had it for three years. And, like, it's the only purse I use. It's got stains on it. It's kind of disgusting, but... For me, a purse is not a fashion statement, is a utility item, so. Um, I picked these up. These are vintage. I don't know who they are, but it's a full set, uh, full size sheet set. I guess I can open it now since I bought it. Uh, I paid $5 for this. And I got this at that little um, Mennonite store I used to go to when I lived in Columbus. And uh, I bought a lot of stuff there. Let's see if we can figure out who this is. Or maybe we can't. Maybe it's a nobody. The cool thing is, I usually only buy sets like this when they fit the bed that I own. <laughs> so if I end up buying something that's not worth, you know, reselling, at least it'll fit my bed. Okay. There's the tag. A standard pillowcase. Wait, what does that say? Um, oh, mainstays. Okay, so not vintage. This is um, Walmart. Mainstays is a Walmart brand. There's, it's still really pretty. Um, I may be able to get a few dollars out of it. If not, I'll be sleeping on the flowers, I guess. Um, and this is the last thing for this haul. Nope. There's something else in this bag. Oh. Yeah, I got these really cute um, cocktail forks. Shrimp forks. Look how cute this is. And it's got this, like, venti gold inlay on it. Um, and I paid 50 cents for these. I just thought they were cute. They might not be worth anything. I know. Don't judge me. All right. This is a full-size um, fitted sheet. So it's just one sheet and two pillowcases. I paid three bucks for it. And I don't know about you, but I would love to sleep on this. Look at it. That's the horses. Um, again, I don't know what brand this might be. Oh, Circo, so it's Target. Uh, really cute. And uh, I'll get a couple bucks out of that, too. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, another part of my haul from Columbus. Uh, I sold just two things. A board game, I think for around $15.00. And some uh, cars, like these wooden cars, for, I think, $27. So, that's it. That was all of my sales for the weekend. But, again, I didn't work, so can't really complain, can I? Well, I can. Are you going to listen? Um, tell me about, you know, what did you sell this weekend that was kind of cool? Or um, did you pick something up that you're excited about? You know, um, let me know in the comments. You know, they're, they're right down there. Well, not exactly right down there, but you know what I mean. All right. I am going to get to work, and I will talk to you very soon. Um, just remember that the dream works when you do, so keep dreaming, keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.